Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. I'd like to welcome you to Sunday, the 22nd day of August, 2021. What a mighty God we serve. Today, we're looking at the topic, serving God with your resources. Scripture says, and, they, and then received Moses all the offering which the children of Israel had brought for the work of the service of the sanctuary to make it without. And they brought yet unto him free offerings every morning. Exodus 36 verse 3. Thought for the day. Giving your resources to God is part of your service to God. Now it has been established that service to God is a duty or a responsibility of every child of God. We are saved to serve God. Exodus 3.12 tells us that. One of the dimensions of kingdom service is serving God with our abilities and our potentials. Now another dimension of kingdom service is service with one's resources. This implies serving God with the resources that you have. Exodus 36 verse 3 and verse 5 says, and they, then, and they received of Moses all the offerings which the children of Israel had brought for the work of the service of the sanctuary to make it with her. And they brought yet unto him free offerings every morning and they spake unto Moses saying the people bring such much more than enough for the service of the work which the Lord commanded to make now this means giving your resources to God is part of your service to him even the pastor is not excluded from serving God with his own resources it is wrong for a pastor to say I'm already preaching I have already given myself to God. So I don't need to give offering or pay my tithe anymore. No, 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 no. As a pastor, my husband and I have never been comfortable to raise an offering where there is no offering in our own hands. We have been preaching on tithes and giving for more than 20 years. And my husband in particular, has been giving tithe, both of us, for about 34 years. Senior pastor, God's servant, gave tithe and offering 10 years before he became a pastor. That was his regular practice, even as a medical student in the university. So no usher or choir member is excused from giving their own resources to God. You don't become too busy doing other things for God then your resources does not uh, uh, follow in your service. So beloved, make it a regular practice to serve God with your resources. It's a covenant obligation. Remember this, giving your resources to God is part of your service to God. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, go through today's message again and ask God to speak to you afresh. And then secondly, make up your mind to serve God with your resources. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I thank you for letting me know that giving my resources is part of my service to you. I receive the grace and the discipline to release my resources to you. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to know that God is set for your lifting and your determination to, to do what you need to do with God is very important for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Make up your mind that you will continue to serve God at all points in time in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Bible reading today is Jeremiah chapter 49 to 51. And by way of reflection, God's servant has said, what is the commitment level of your resources to kingdom service? It is not possible for your treasure not to be where your heart is. Praise God. Before I close, I'd like to pray for two people if you want to be born again, I'd love to pray for you now. You want Jesus to become the Lord of your life? Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. 
wash away all my sins, make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I declare the grace to release your resources without holding back to God. It's hereby released upon you. In Jesus' name, amen. And I want to pray for the second group of people. And that is a special person whose birthday it is today. So happy birthday to you. As your days, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. Peace.